We'll take a look at the starting lineups. First for the visiting Puerto Rico Islanders. In goal will be Richard Martin. Defensively, Edward, Abiga, Needham, and Daru. Through the midfield, Fojo, Tellisford, Foley, and Barrero. And starting up front for head coach Adrian Whitbread, Jonathan Fania, and Nicholas Adlery. The Stars, they'll start this way. In goal will be Matt Van Oakle. In front of him will be Coleman, Altman, Tobin, and Davis. Through the midfield, Watson, Takata, Reed, and Ibarra. Walker and Pollock starting up top for head coach Manny Lagos. Those are our Metro Transit starting 11. Now knocked in the corner, Foley. Foley going against Coleman. Cross off. Header by Adlery. Good hustle back there by Ibarra. Reed. Ibarra. Through for Walker. Walker. Side netting. And the Islanders defense wanting an offside. Edward. Reed comes up with it at midfield. Quickly finding Jamie Watson. Watson with speed. Poke through. Nate Pollock. Pollock! Go! Oh! Oh! Nate Pollock with his first professional goal. We talked about the keys of the game, Jamie Watson <laughs> making the run, dynamic run. Draws all the defense in, just lays it off to Nate Pollock. I thought Pollock maybe took an extra touch, he shouldn't have, but it was the perfect touch because he put it away. He gave the Stars a one goal lead. Abiga out to Edward. Back to Abiga. Soft pass intercepted by Walker. Walker trying to catch Martin off his line a bit. Hits it right into his gut, though. Here, Ibarra onside. Miguel Ibarra, he's slowed up. Then he goes down around Martin. Ibarra still with it. Pollock looking for two. Save point blank by Martin. Good skill by Pollock around Daru. Pollock on the ground. Walker redirect. Goal! Miguel Ibarra! Right spot, right time. Great, great move by Nate Pollock. I mean, he had trapped in the corner, turns, gets that ball on the line, drives one across the box, and uh, we have Walker there, Ibarra, Ibarra there, and Miguel. Able to put it in and give the Stars a 2-0 lead. That's the goal that Puerto Rico wanted before halftime. Minnesota's got it now. It's a wonderful goal to give them a 2-0 lead. Here's Minnesota quickly. Ibarra. Watson. Try bending shot! Oh, Jamie Watson! <laughs> what a start. What a start for Minnesota, Chris. And the dive. Uh, so Futcher owns, owes Alonzo a lot of thanks. Onside is a walker. Left footer! Oh. Dings it off the post. He cranked that one well. Ibarra. Cross in. Walker! <laughs> and he does the Nessie leap into the beer garden. Goals galore right now, Chris. Wonderful cross by Amani Walker. I mean, by Miguel Ibarra. And Amani Walker well up. Up over that defender. I think it's a new defender. Just came on the field. And uh, just wasn't quite ready to jump as high as Amani Walker was. And Amani puts it inside that far post. Tobin bringing it forward with speed. Connor Tobin. Davis. Walker! Just a bit high. Substitution presented by Subway. Needham on the restart for Puerto Rico. Good ball in. Good opportunity there for Puerto Rico to get on the board. So a corner kick for 
the Stars. Watson and Davis hanging out over there to the short corner. Davis driven in. Diving header. Oh. Cleared off the line. Tobin gets in there. Off the crossbar. And it's waved off. And now some uh, good old stuff as O.C. Tellisford took a disliking to Tobin getting in there. And all honesty, Connor Tobin didn't do anything wrong. He was in the position and just went up to challenge Rich, Richard Martin. So, in my opinion, defenders overreacting. I understand protecting the goalkeeper. I was a goalkeeper. Loved it when my defenders helped protect me. But in that case, Puerto Rico handling it incorrectly. Martin with the clearance. And that'll do it here. Minnesota Stars FC are on to the playoffs with a four to nothing win over Puerto Rico. This past Saturday, uh, when Ali Arlt spoke to Manny Lagos, he's a little dejected, a little bummed about the result. I have a feeling he's not gonna be so dejected here tonight and he is pitch side with Ali. Let's see if he's smiling. Thanks guys, Manny, finally a win. Yeah, no, it feels good. I mean, again, it was uh, a nice way to end all those ties in a row, particularly at home. And like I said, the game was for getting to the playoffs, which was a big deal and very proud of the guys. I mean, they just put an outstanding effort in. I, I think they felt the weight of, and frustration of us not getting the win for a while at home and, and they just played outstanding. Goals in the 45th and 46th minute, not to mention three of the four goal scorers all had assists tonight. What an offensive effort. Yeah, it just really was. Like I said, you know, the timely goals and, and exciting goals, you know, one at the end of the first half and two to start the second half. And just a, a nice way to kind of say, hey, you know, the, the way we were playing the last month, we were playing well, maybe should have gotten some results. And, and we really managed the game much better today to get the result. Now, you guys, you talked at halftime about you know, a positive energy and and a mental toughness. Is this something you guys can carry into the next two uh, regular season games on the road and in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the next step is for us to continue now to see how we can do it on the road, and, and especially against a team we played very well against tonight, and I'm sure they're going to be ready for us uh, back at their place, and that's an interesting situation when you play the same team twice in a row uh, within a week. So uh, certainly we uh, are going to, you know, kind of enjoy the night. I think the guys should. This is our last regular season home game, and I think the fans got a good show. But tomorrow we got to wake up and get ready for a, a tough challenge this weekend. And then the following weekend, we play the best team in the league away before we go to the playoffs. So we're looking forward to it. Again, I, I, like I said, I really want the guys to enjoy tonight because it was our final regular season home game. It puts us in the playoffs. And now we just uh, go from there. Manny, biggest congrats on this big shutout. Thank you very congrats. much. Buzz and Chris, back up to you guys. Buzz and Chris, our man of the match, Nate Polak. Nate, your first professional goal in soccer. How are you feeling, man? Uh, it feels amazing. Yeah, my, my debut start, and uh, that's what I was that's what I was looking for. Just trying to get a goal, trying to get assists, just work hard and help the team out any way I could. You've been working with the team, you know, not on contract for a while now, but just less than a month ago, signed with the team. You had said that you wanted to help this team get back to a championship tonight. You were able to clinch the playoffs, much in part to your effort on that first goal tonight. Exactly. Yeah, that's what that's what I said uh, right after I got signed. Just help. Wanted to help out any way I can. You know, we want another championship here, and I, I'm really working hard for it. And I think the whole team is. We're ready, ready to give it a go here in the playoffs. Nate, when you scored that goal, your face was priceless. <laughs> what were those feelings going through your head at that moment? <laughs> I, I can't really explain. I mean, I just so excited. That's that's what I was hoping for in this debut start, and I got it, and I'm just really proud. Not only a goal, but an assist to Ibarra as well. What do you think of your team's offensive effort here tonight? It was pretty stellar. I agree. Yeah, we just I, I think we were clicking. We were pressuring hard, and uh, that's what that's what we kind of talked about before the game, and it worked out. We were getting steals, and we were getting counterattacks off of it, and it really helped us out in the long run. Nate, your debut start, your first professional goal. Biggest congrats, man. You won't forget this night. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Our man of the match, Nate Pollock. Back to you, Buzz and Chris. All right. Well, that'll do it here from NSC Stadium for Buzz Lagos, Ali Arlt, our entire webcast crew. I'm Chris Lidholm, thanking you for joining us for this final regular season time at NSC Stadium. Once again, our final score, the Minnesota Stars FC4, the Puerto Rico Islanders 0. Thanks for watching. Good night, everyone.